you have been on the campaign trail questioning Tim Walz's military record. You say it was shameful that Governor Walz retired from the military before his unit deployed to Iraq. I want to read you something that Joe Eustis, who is a veteran, he served sure. with Governor Walz, said. He said that's a lie. He said he was a good, as good a soldier as you'll find. I'm not trying to defend him. I hope people don't think that. What I'm trying to do is defend someone who served his country. I'm not voting for him. I'll campaign against him. But I don't think it's fair to characterize his service the way they have. Governor Walz served 24 years. Sure. He even stayed after he could have retired because uh, of 9-11, more than the country asked of him. Do you honor his service? Well, of course, Dana, I honor his service. And I've never criticized what Tim Waltz did when he was in the military. I criticized his retirement decision. And most importantly, Dana, I, I criticized his lying about his own record, okay? This is a guy who was captured on video saying, I carried a gun in war. He never went to war. This is a guy who's been captured on video. As other people say, he's an Afghanistan veteran. He's a veteran of a war, nodding along in agreement instead of saying, no, 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 I did serve my country and I did it honorably, but I never went to a war zone. I'm not criticizing Tim Waltz's service. I'm criticizing the fact that he lied about his service for political gain, Dana. Now, I served in the United States Marine Corps, and you know this. And look, there are a lot of things that I'm proud about. I've never lied about what I did or overstated it because it would be beneficial to me in an election. I think that's what Tim Waltz did. That's what I was criticizing. And yes, I do think it's scandalous behavior. You uh, talked about one of the things that he said, weapons of war. He was talking in a campaign stop about, yeah. he was trying to talk about gun control. Sure. And he said, weapons of war I carried in war. Uh, I will say that the Harris uh, Walls campaign did say that the governor misspoke there. Sure. Do you Mi accept that? He misspoke. Another word is that he lied about it and he didn't correct the record for 15 years until he was put under political pressure because I called it out, Dana. Whatever you want to call it, a misspeaking or a lie, I think Tim Waltz should have to correct the record. Now, you pointed out a soldier who defended his service. There have been a number of soldiers who served with Tim Waltz who have criticized him on the exact same grounds that I have because it's not right to misstate or to embellish what you've done. And I think that's what he did. And on the question of when he left the, the National Guard, he filed his election paperwork February 10th, 2005. That was a month before the National Guard even announced that it was possible that they would deploy to Iraq, and it ended up being two months. He retired two months before they actually got the paperwork. But on CNN last night, Dana, uh, one of the people who was actually in charge of him said they knew they were going to deploy to Iraq in February of 2004, so, or excuse me, fall of 2004. So he knew he was going to Iraq. He decided to quit to retire, whatever word you want to use, retire. because whatever, because he wanted to run for Congress. He lied about that. He said that when he decided to retire, he did not know that he was going to Iraq. That is another untruth, as even his senior military officer said. So again, I'm not criticizing the service. I'm criticizing the dishonesty, dishonesty spoken in favor and for the purpose of political benefit. And I think that the most important thing here, Dana, is it goes to Kamala Harris's judgment. Tim Waltz is ultimately going to be the vice president. Kamala Harris is in great health. I'm sure she's going to be president if she wins for four or maybe even eight years. Why did Kamala Harris choose a person who has lied about their military service? I think that is a serious lapse in judgment. And I don't want to hear from a campaign spokesperson of Kamala Harris. I want to hear Kamala Harris herself address what I just said. You know, I, I've seen a lot of statements from veterans, including those you serve with, saying it's just untoward to be criticizing somebody who served for 24 years. Dana, I'm not interested in the ad hominem. I've heard from a lot of veterans groups who criticize Tim Waltz. The question is, he said he served in war, and he didn't. That is a dishonesty. I, I really, I couldn't care less what one or the other person says about it. I care about what the truth is. The truth is that Tim Waltz didn't tell the truth. And importantly, Dana, this is about Kamala Harris's judgment. And I think that when you ask, why has Kamala Harris allowed the border to be wide open? Why has Kamala Harris supported policies that have promoted the increase in inflation? I think it goes to the heart of her judgment. And I think that that's what we should be talking about. One last question. Donald Trump didn't serve in the military. Uh, he received a medical draft deferment for bone spurs to avoid serving in the Vietnam War, reportedly as a favor to his father. Do you find that shameful, too? 
I think that Donald Trump didn't serve in the military, but he didn't lie about it, Dana. I've known Donald Trump for a long time. You he don't really think he, honors our so veterans. You think he, he had honors phone me for my service. Donald Trump didn't lie about serving in the military. He didn't say that he went to Vietnam when he didn't. This is the problem. I, I don't criticize anybody. Whether they served our country or not, I think it's honorable to serve, but obviously a lot of people have reasons for not serving. I criticize somebody for embellishing their record, for lying, saying, I went to war. Dana, do, do you think that it's a problem that he said, I went to war, but he didn't actually? That seems to be a problem to me. Well, they've they've corrected that. Let's move on to... They've corrected it by admitting that Let's he lied. move on to another important issue to voters.